Hello everybody, this is Jason. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. I post content related with WebRTC, JavaScript and Golang. If this interests you, please hit that subscribe button and stay updated. Welcome back everyone. Uh, we on to uh, a real part of building a real life um, application with uh, Tori or Tori however you want to pronounce that uh, what we're going to do is um, I'm not going to go through the whole process of making a P2P video core um, tutorial because um, that that is totally a different thing because our focus is on Tori um, for this one so what I'm going to do is I have a P2P video core desktop uh, not desktop but like a web application that is packed with a signaling server with the front end as well so i'm going to use that and i'm just going to show you how easy it is to you know just to wrap it with uh tori okay so first first thing or okay i just want to show you i'll give you i'll put this link down bottom okay if you want to use this uh, you can grab that okay i'll put a link down the bottom um so we'll be using this um starting kit okay to make our desktop app okay so first thing is we're going to create a new project here okay which is a tori app so we're going to go npm uh i think it's in hold on, i can't remember the command there you go npm run uh, okay the first thing is we are going to create a new uh, tori app okay by doing that we just go npm create tori app okay then we just push continue okay i show you on the last video as well if you haven't watched it go and go and watch that because that actually have some sort of comparison uh, between electron and tori okay so now we'll give it a name we'll just call it uh we'll call it video core app okay okay and this one <clears throat> what should we want to appear on our window title screen we'll just call this video core okay and what we need is we just want a vanilla um js i mean yeah vanilla javascript without bundler okay we'll just do that nice and simple okay wait till that finishes okay so now we just cd into this folder we'll open it in vs code okay okay we trust that okay we only thing we need to do here is we need to add a um a plist so a mac that only applies to mac okay if you use linux and windows it won't you won't need to do a plist okay so what we need to do here is we need to go uh, into the source tori and we need, need to create a new file okay and we just need an info.plist okay so basically this uh if you ever done any ios development okay same same thing apply basically you're telling the app that we require camera and also microphone okay that's what this thing is for okay once we've done that and then we will go and grab um this one uh, our starting kit okay which i have it here already uh, which i will bring that onto the screen no modification required okay so what we need to do is first first thing uh once once you downloaded this you just go npm i i i have already done that so it's got all the de dependency in there okay no modify no modification required okay so what we need to do is we need to build this project uh, we'll just go start okay because so we can see the web interface going as well so what we need is we go yarn start okay we got this application running on 8080 okay to do that let's go and run this local host 8080 
okay that's our app so we just want to make sure we go in there and make sure it works first before we we pack this up uh we'll call this room test okay and we go yes and here we go okay this is my cam uh i got it like facing somewhere else okay so this app works okay now we get out of it okay now what we need to do here real simple we go we go to the disk fo uh, folder uh, we want all these files, okay? That's what we do. We just go copy. Okay. Because we build it, okay? That's why we can just do that. And we go to the Tori app. We will delete that. Move that away. And we will just paste those files in this, this folder, okay? That's it. And now, what we're going to do is we go npm Tori uh, run build it will give us an error why because um, we have to specify this um, package identifier here okay we can use this okay so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna change it to my website okay and Jason and video core okay we'll identify this as video core and save and believe it or not that is it we just need to build this give it a few moments and we can you have a full-on desktop app okay from javascript and html okay we'll wait wait till this finishes and we will do some testing so what we're going to do is this is a web base okay we can test the two um that works okay so let's go in there we go into the room first and we'll call this room test Okay, now we, we've got something running here. It is my cam, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, this, this thing is um, the most basic use of Tori, okay? And, of course, you know, you can you can put your WebSocket cores and everything, all the logics in Rust, okay? Uh, it can be done, but this is like an introduction, so um, I'm just going to build this and just show you how easy it is if you want to pack a website into a full-on cross-platform uh, application okay we're almost done there so for f uh can't wait let's make sure you know we'll see it it's working it's probably the most convenient way you know like it's even easier than electron you know electron you got to do a few other things you know but this is this is it but we will wait till this <coughs> this bundler thing sh finishes okay make sure we got those fo files okay looks like it has okay what we're going to do here is we get a target releases we'll open in finder okay so we get get into the app release bundle uh, we want a mac os okay that's the app here and look at it it's only 8.8 .8 meg and uh, i did sort of uh, did a comparison last and look at here I'm gonna show you this once once more you do not you do not see any source codes okay in this pack only thing you see here is this uh, plist because it's required and it's got our entries in there okay so now let's spin this up uh, one more down okay okay now it's time to test this thing out okay this this one is already in the room okay so now we just open this up okay so this looks and feel uh, exactly s the same you know as the website so what we're going to do here is we're going to join the room okay we'll call ourselves john and the room is tess and let's join that and here we go it works right okay to show you it works on a voice as well that's equally so all right so we just built a um you know a full-on desktop app with uh, Tori okay and you can build this uh, cross-platform you know like Linux and Windows as well and it's a it's a full-on desktop app all right I hope you enjoy this really short um, tutorial uh, what we are going to do next is we can probably look a bit deeper with Tori like write some actual codes in Rust and call it in JavaScript Okay, so maybe that will be the next thing uh, we get into. So, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, um, please subscribe. If you um, like the video, please 
give us a thumbs up okay that means a lot to me and yeah consider to be a patreon if you want to see many more of this type of video and tutorials okay and thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye